Hi everybody, my name is Jihad Gamra. I'm the product manager for the EP EPMP product line. Today we're going to talk about the package content of the EPMP 4625 uh, product line. And then we're going to also show you a sample installation on the pole. So the package content is right here on the table. We have a dish, we have an L bracket, we have uh, three hose clamps, uh, a GPS mount, a pole mount, uh, a couple, two sets of bolts. One is an M6, the other is an M8. We have the GPS, uh, a puck, which is right here, a PoE adapter, and the power cable. And of course, the feed horn radio. This is what you're gonna see. It comes in a package of four. The, the US version, the FCC version, it comes with the GPS, UP, uh, GPS puck. However, the low version does not come with the GPS lock. Okay, so beside the package content, we're gonna go ahead and start the installation or start, uh, start putting it together. Um, so now we're gonna actually mount the uh, uh, pole mount bracket to the pole and we're gonna proceed on mounting the radio and the dish. So we're gonna take one of these M8 bolts we're gonna put it on the, doesn't matter on which one, this, we're gonna start it right here. And then we're gonna take the clamps, put them in, all three. Like that. And we're gonna go ahead and mount the pole on the clamp, uh, sorry, the pole, on the clamps on the pole. Okay, so the bracket is on, and these are, we should torque them to about uh, nine Newton meters. So the next step over here, we're gonna install the L bracket right on the dish. So there is a couple slots right here. We're gonna take it, insert them in, and then we're gonna turn it around so they are fully aligned and you see the two holes fully aligned in here. Then the next step will be taking the M6 bolts and we're going to install them right on the dish. This way on top, flip it around and they go right on these holes. So once the bolts are started we're going to take the tool and put them in. Once this is done, we're going to torque these to 5 to 6 Newton meters. The next step after that is taking the actual radio and uh, insert it in. So, okay. you can see it from this side. We put in the two bolts and then we tighten these bolts to hold to the dish. Now the radio and the dish itself is a solid one piece. So the next step after this is to mount this whole piece on the actual pole. So the way to do it, this is the top uh, not we already installed an M8 so all we have to do is slide it in the M8 and take it down so it just goes like this that's it and then we're gonna take the other bolt that we have and mount it in place Tighten them up a little bit. So now this actual radio and, and dish is mounted and secured in place. You could actually adjust for the tilt up or tilt down. Uh, we haven't tightened these bolts. Uh, they are a little bit snug, but I did not torque them nor did I tighten them. So all you have to do is just loosen them up a little bit and then you could take it for an up tilt or take it down for a low tilt. 
depending where, where your access point is. So I'm assuming that I'm going to be straight in this particular case. We're going to go ahead and secure these both bolts and then you're going to torque them to 10 Newton meters. At this point in time, we're, the only thing left to do is a GPS fog. In case we have a row unit, you don't need a GPS fog, so we're done. But in case for the FCC, we do a GPS fog. So the next step over here is to mount the, the GPS fog to the pole. And what we have here is we have a, uh, a tie, a zip tie, and we have a couple of uh, screws in case you want to mount the actual bracket to a wall. In this case, we're going to mount it right here on the pole itself. So all we need is these two right here. This particular bracket right here, you could see a couple of like maybe quarter of a circle this or the quarter of a circle this way so the quarter of a circle this is where it mounts against the pole so we're gonna go ahead and do it just like that like this and then you're gonna insert insert the zip tie just like that and just zip it This is really it. I'm not going to tie it in place, but now you could cut this off. This is where the puck will be installed. The last step right now is to put in the cables so and the GPS puck. So we're going to take this apart. And uh, put the actual puck, USB puck, through that little hole. And once we get it all the way in, put the puck in, and now the puck is in, in place. And then we're gonna take this little bracket that covers uh, the cables, but we're going to take it out so that gently so we don't break this right here and we're going to just insert the USB cable in. so the USB cable is in and finally we're going to take our Ethernet cable and put it in and it is in right now. Then all you have to do is take this out and it comes down. When it comes down the cables are in place. Now what you have to do is just put this bracket in. And that's it. The brackets are secured. The cables are hidden. You don't see them. Uh, and they are protected, there is no water intrusion in here. Installation at this point is complete for the radio, the other end for the Ethernet. We're going to take it to our power supply and uh, we're going to connect it to power where it says PoE and it goes right here. This guy powers your power supply and this goes we remove this this goes to a standard uh, US uh, receptacle and of course over here this if you have uh, another uh, to a router or to a switch this is what you insert your Ethernet installation of this is complete thank you